Okay, so we've just seen a quick example of how to load some CSV files into RongoDB as a graph using the data loader and using our user interface through a Ronco graph. If you prefer not to use an interface, we also have command line tools that allow you to do the exact same imports we just saw using uh, basic, basic terminal commands. For this, we can propose a tool called Orango Import, which is a CLI tool to import either JSON, CSV, or TSV files into OrangoDB. We also have additional tools that, that you can also use, such as tools for downloading backups of your databases, restoring backups of your databases, uh, exporting your, your, your OrangoDB data either as JSON or CSV, along with a tool called Orango Shell, which allows you to access OrangoDB via a JavaScript API in the terminal. But just to go back, in this particular demo, we're just going to look at Orango Import. And for this, I'm going to need a terminal. So from here, I can swap over to a terminal I have on my left and collapse the window on my, or sorry, terminal on my right, window on my left. In this directory, I've got the exact same CSV files that we just saw a moment ago when we loaded it via the data loader. But instead, I'll be using a tool called Orango Import. So in order for us to load the airport's CSV file once again, I'm going to use a new database. In this case, I'm just going to use the system DB just to show off that you can also store data in the system DB although we always recommend that you create custom database names for the data you want to load. Regardless, I'm going to start ahead and type Orango import and specify the server endpoint to be the exact same server that we wanted to, um, to connect to. So in this case, it's just going to be the uh, URI that you had grabbed or that you can connect to through the UI. We're going to start by loading the airports.csv file. So that's why I'm just going to type dash dash file in quotes airport CSV. I'm going to say that it's a type CSV. And I'm going to skip the translate because I actually don't need it this time. And I'm just going to go ahead and specify the, um, the collection. It's going to be called airports along with the Boolean flag to say create the collection if it doesn't exist. At this point, I'll be prompted with the password, and I could use the exact same password that I used to log into the ArangoDB UI that we just saw. From here, it says that it it it, it read 6,461 lines, and it created 6,459 airports. So if I go back, I can see that my airports are created, along with some of the fields that we omitted previously in the data loader UI, uh, but everything here are, are, is loaded. You're, of course, free to omit certain fields if you wanted to. Uh, we have some, some details on that using the documentation for Ronco import. OK, now let's do the edges. In the exact same way we just did, we're just going to swap over. Instead of saying airports.csv, we're just going to say flights.csv. Going to rename the collection to just be called flights. In this case, I'll just create a homogeneous graph instead of a heterogeneous graph and just keep it to one vertex collection. I'm going to specify that the prefix for all of the foreign keys of our flight CSV file is actually going to belong to the airports collection. And I'm going to do the same thing for the destination foreign keys, in this case, also belonging to the airports collection. We'll specify that it's called uh, flights. Actually, we already did that, so we're good to go. We're going to say that if the collection does not exist, I want it. I want you to create it and set it as type edge. Once again, prompt it for the password. And you can see here that our edges are created. If I go back to my UI, I can see that now I have flights connecting the two airports together. I can also create a graph. I can do this either through the terminal or through the UI, of course. In this case, I'll just create a general graph here called flights. And I'll set the edge definition to flights from airports to airports and create. 
same same concept here if i want to i can just say color nodes by collection show collection name and just say show edge direction for instance click on apply set this as the start node and if i wanted to i can load the full graph so in some cases it'll give you a sample of some some nodes or in some cases it'll also give you a sample of a little relationship in between the airports of course i can kind of jump around and do the exact same thing we did previously okay so this is a quick demo of how to use a rongo import to get the same data set loaded into a rongo db instead of using an interface we just use the cli tool and of course you have a lot more cli tools to work with um, that's also in excluding all of the different database drivers we have for Oronco DB, right? So this is just a small, small section of how to get your data into Oronco.